wherever you can, but there are certain occasions uh, where it might be different. Um, once again, I only know the numbers, I don't know the reasons behind it, but if you uh, see certain anomalies in your campaigns, they might be normal. You just might not expect them. This is one of my favorite slides because it gives completely unexpected data. Um, it's the um, uh, quality score and the distribution of the quality score and um, uh, if, it, if there's like a correlation between the co uh, quality score and uh, the number of uh, impressions and the average position you get based on the quality score. Uh, something that's very very noticeable, noticeable here is uh, the change at a quality score level of 3 which is the big spike here on the uh, left side um, same as uh, the big drop off at uh, quality score level number 8. So there is something weird going on in Google. We've compared these numbers like on a, on a monthly basis over the last 12 months and it developed even stronger to these extremes. Once again, I don't know the reason behind it, but... Uh, you pay more. Know, sorry? You pay more. Is it, when it's so free, you pay more. Well, obviously you pay more, but... Um, it's not necessarily right. But the, the, the thing is, why do you get more impressions and a better average position at a quality score of 3 than a quality score of 4? I mean, it's completely the opposite. I didn't know the reason. It's about 1800 uh, efforts accounts that were analyzed, and it's across all of them. Like, we looked at different languages, different geo targeting, and it's always the same. And, uh, like, if we look at like random numbers, we always have the same. Uh, graph. So there's something a little dodgy going on there. Um, if somebody knows the answer why, uh, feel free to explain. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. We're going to see how we are after, so uh, it's going to be interesting, I guess. The next thing is, um, is uh, does it help if uh, you actually achieve or overachieve um, your max CPC uh, compared to the first page big value? Um, the 100% score is around about here, um, so, uh, which is nice to see that about 100% of uh, the first page fit is a max CPC level. Also, I um, here a little more detail, uh, you get a lot of traffic and it actually increases to about 120% and then you get less traffic, which again is a little weird, uh, but that's just what the numbers say. Most people would expect that the more you bid, the more uh, volume you get, or the more impressions you get from that keyword, but it's not true. Don't ask me why. Uh, two more slides. Uh, I think these, this graph is very expected. About one third of all conversions need more than one click. Uh, so if you, when you're looking at uh, how well uh, a campaign is converting, uh, you might not only want to look at the last keyword it was clicked, for example, um, like the cheap flights uh, New York to Tel Aviv. People might have clicked on the, on the, on the last keyword and converted them, and they might have done searches before that, or, uh, where it's very visible or very self explanatory uh, when you look at brand names. Uh, obviously, your brand name always has the highest click rate, it always has the highest uh, conversion rate. But you gotta ask yourself the question how do people actually know that my brand exists unless it's like Coca Cola or Google or uh, Pepsi or something like that? Because then you have to do brand building in the past, and this is usually done with more generic terms than the brand or a very exact uh, search term. This is my most favorite slide because hardly anyone expects it. Um, it's 90% uh, of active keywords get no impressions at all. If you look uh, in your AdWords account, everyone is saying, saying target the long tail, go for more keywords, go for more exact match, try to get their account as big as possible so you can measure more. Of course it's good to be able to measure as exactly as possible, to have as many exact matches as possible. But um, if 90% of the keywords don't even get an impression, but you still have them laying somewhere around your account, it gets really hard to actually manage their account. So always try to get a at the right threshold of where you start of bidding at a keyword as exact match in a very like uh, long long tail form or you might just want to keep it as a phrase match or growth match because it's uh, easier to measure uh, how well it performs or how well it doesn't perform and uh, that was the last slide thank you